Make I update to now see the heart. But the ADS, knock them the update. <laughs> Chatham House for Nigerian politicians don't become a big deal in our politics today. Presidential candidates, they fly entire UK to brief the world about their agenda if they become Nigeria's next president on 29th May, 2023. How relevant will this Chatham House talkings for the presidential candidates be as we enter February 25th presidential uh, elections? This is our discussion today. Make run them as they hold no time. My name is Na ADS. Towards the end of 2022, the presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, been entered Chatham House. Nigerians in Southam Wella, when he start to the sheer questions where people ask him, they give him campaign members to answer. People see him like say, him they insult Nigeria and Nigerians for inside the Obodo Yibo. After Tinubu go Chatham House, people we get the Chatham House come still invite Mr. Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. Many come they wait for Obi to see if him go embarrass Nigeria and Nigerians like Tinubu. Few days ago, Peter Obi enter Chatham House. Now he message be this. Mwano, watch. We will build up intangible assets of securing the country, making sure that we govern to rule of law. We will fight corruption. That we have a record that is the only National Assembly member who refused to buy property of government when it was offered to all National Assembly members. You can go and look at this record. If you have seen anywhere he has compromised or put himself in a transactional position. And I'll stop running. I know how I approach him. And I told him, I and the you owe it to save our people. That's why we came together. And we came back and said, we'll work as a team. We'll solve this problem. Go and check my record. I've governed the state for eight years and I've challenged everybody. Polly was there. I've been the only governor till today, the day I left office, I was not owing salary, pension, gratuity, or any contract, or any supplier. <laughs> and I left in three banks in Nigeria, which I say every day. Access Bank of Nigeria, Fidelity Bank of Nigeria, and Diamond Bank, I left Hundred of over hundred and fifty million dollars. Dollars at this scenario. And I have over thirty billion naira. And an Umbra state, you can go and verify it. Anyway. I've never had a bottle of an Umbra state have never bought me. There's no land allocated directly and indirectly by me and I signed over several thousands of C of O. An Umbra has never bought me a bottle of water since I left office. So you can go. We will fight and stop corruption. Yeah. The first thing about stopping corruption is yourself. Mm. If you're not involved, your wife is not involved, your family is not involved, those around you are not involved, you reduce it by over 50%. Yeah. We're going to turn around the power sector. Nigeria generates about, today, 56,000 megawatts of electricity for 200 million people. And South Africa, the second biggest in terms of economy in the five continent. Six, five, five to six thousand. Uh, five to six thousand. That's been five to six thousand. Sorry. And South Africa, the second biggest economy, 60 million people generates about 40 to 50,000. And South Africa, in the past three months, has declared emergency in power. And said, Anybody can generate up to 100 megawatts without license. So somebody who is 60 million, generating about over 40,000, declared emergency, 
What do you think? Somebody with two million people generating five to six thousand will do. War. I'm going to declare war on power and I'll solve it. Anybody who stands on the way, so be it. Foreign investor is like bee and honey. All you need to secrete honey. The way B will find the place is very simple. <laughs> Foreign capital is scared of corruption. Is scared of bad policies. Is scared of we have no rule of law. You need to put in a greater environment that makes it conducive. You need to secure it. That is at the heart of what that he and I are friend. Obi talk for there. Why and how him choose him running meet Senator Dati Baba Ahmed. A man him talk say na honest and incorruptible public servant who be refused to collect government property as them they share them, give themselves inside the National Assembly when him be dead here as a honorable member. <laughs> he did very clear say Obi and Dati get the same sense for public service. Obi offer Nigerians hope for the future. Him talk about electricity and building the economy. Inside everything where Obi talk, you go see clearly the morale and the dedication to make Nigeria work again. One guy been asked Obi one question to know if him go fall or be hand. <laughs> the answer where Obi give, eh? He go scatter your brain. Oh yeah, watch. Gentleman right in the corner. Yes. So, yes, you. Please go ahead. Introduce yourself and one question, please. Thank All you. right. Thank you. My name is uh, Ajiboye Tsumishi from Audersfield uh, University. So my question is simple. Uh, the activities of the high pop in Nigeria is on alarmerate every day. And with all the policy, beautiful ideas that you've listed down, sir without tackling security head on, they are impossible. So, one of the allegations given to you is that you've not condemned the activities of the high pop. So, and the uh, tackling of security... Can, can you sum up, please? Let me learn. <laughs> tackling of security... Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let's... Sorry, I'm a student. We have to learn. Tackling so, of sorry. security, how will you tackle it, sir? Are you introducing state police, police? Are you introducing state police, or are you threatening the federal government secu uh, security apparatus? Thank you. Maybe you're not following me. Even yesterday, I spoke about Biafra being ended 53 years ago. It's all about the place in the space. I condemn all agitators, but in condemning them, you have to look at what thought about this agitation all over the place. It's not only IPOB. We have Yoruba Nation movement. We have all sorts. When you have created this level of massive poverty where 63% of your population is poor, you're going to create all sorts of problems. I was speaking to a British minister this morning. I said we have about 40% Unemployment. I have about 60% youth unemployment. Young people in their productive age doing nothing. If you have 15% unemployment in Britain today, you're going to have massive remember, agitation. Nobody will be able to leave his house. So, what you're seeing is a creative effect of leadership failure over the years, which will be solved by good governance. When people start seeing justice, fairness, and inclusive government and doing the right thing, all those things will start reversing itself. And that is what me and that is offering.
I will talk and discuss with all agitators. There's nothing wrong in that. People agitate even in my house. And I'll talk with them. This will be Sabi book, I beg. Eh, him Sabi book. How country will get 40% unemployment rate and 60% youth unemployment rate? Go day peaceful. Eh, how that kind of country go day peaceful? Hunger day enough to cause problem anywhere. A hungry man, now better angry man. When the policies of government favors everybody, for north, for south, for east, and for west, problem no good day. Now only good governance fit solve the problems where they inside this Nigeria. Peter Obi say him go dialogue with all agitators and find a lasting solution to their problem. Him even talk say people they agitate for him house every day and say him sabi solve their problem. This is a man who they claim to serve this country. The PDP and the APC they busy they fight themselves over uh, corruption allegations hanging over their heads. But Peter Obi they busy they nakana. The message of hope to all Nigerians, home and abroad. To end this discussion, how proud is the Labour Party about the performance of their presidential candidate, Peter Obi, inside Chatham House? Make we find out. I'm going to watch. When I started working as a spokesperson for this great Nigerian, I was affected with his affection. But today, as the days go by, I am now infected with his personality. This man has just dazzled the world with his brilliance and convinced the world with his clarity. I have not seen a man who has started rewriting the history of Nigeria, beautifying Nigeria even before he's sworn in as the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as I know he will by May 29. Look at, I am proud of a principal who became so stingy that he could not even share his questions to other people. He answered all of them. We have witnessed in Nigeria where some candidates went on international molestation of our common psyche and went there and in their generosity shared all the questions and answered none. Have you not seen the difference between a man who is responsible and responsive as a leader, who is going to bring transformative and purposeful leadership, purposeful leadership in Nigeria, with a man who shifts all the responsibilities for others? Because, of course, like I said in Arise Television, Tinubu is incapable of granting any interview. He's incapable of national debate. Is incapable of being the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So I have a principle who has summarized in Chatham House in a sentence what he wants to do for Nigeria. Secured, united, and productive Nigeria. That is just the summary of what he has told the world. Okay. He will provide security. He will unify Nigeria. And he is going to shift emphasis from consumption to production through and running, and by running, a production-centered economy driven by agrarian revolution All right. and export-oriented industrialization. So he went to Chatham House to elucidate his seven-point agenda, putting flesh and describing how he's going to achieve each and every one of them. Let me tell you, Obi is a man that is already used to providing democratically engineered disruptive change. When he was the governor of Anabra State, he had no member of the House of Assembly, none. But he was able to get everything he wanted approved by the House of Assembly. He was able to get everything he wanted in Anabra State. And within four years, he became the number one in the whole Nigeria in all indices of measurement. 
in MDG goals, he was scored number one by UNDP. In the poverty rate, he was scored number one by the DG of NAPEP, the Poverty Alleviation Program, by PDP. In the network of roads, he was scored number one. He built 800 kilometers of roads. In the depth management strategy, he was scored number one by DMO. And in every other indices, yet... He did not have one member of the House of Assembly when he came in as governor. This is what Obasanjo would describe as track record of ability and performance. Now, can I tell you, a spokesperson of the Labour Party, presidential uh, campaign council, now him be that. He point out the big difference between the candidates of the APC, Bola Ame Tinubu, and him principal, Peter Obi. Can I talk, say, Peter Obi don't prove to be responsible and responsive. Judging by the way him answer the questions where people nakana him for inside the Chatham house. Whereas Tinubu, Mr. Amy Locker, share all him questions, giving campaign uh, team members to answer. <laughs> what a benevolent man, according to Oyibo. <laughs> Peter Obi, during his time as governor of Anambra State, we no get any member of him party inside state house of assembly. Yet, him perform well in the state without structures. Him report card is still there. So, go and verify. The Chatham House don't really give Nigerians home and abroad the opportunity to meet with their presidential uh, candidates. And I know say this Chatham House go play better rule as we enter February 25th when Nigerians go elect the next uh, president. Finally, go and collect your PVC now. Collection go end on the 29th of January, according to INEC. Follow the part of Nigeria decides 2023. Una don't hear all of them inside Chatham House. So it's time to vote wisely. Vote right, vote wise. I go see Ona again. <laughs> oh yeah, wait. You don't collect updates, you want to run away, Abi? Well, Biko, 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 subscribe, subscribe. Enjoy. Biko, da Allah, subscribe. <laughs>